The Jaga Living Building invites artists. We run a residency program typically to invite people to spend three to six months at least understanding the structure of the living building and then trying to figure out how to bring their world into our world. I started working with pallet racks and large building structures in 2003. Later in 2009, I met Archana and Archana had the, this vision of setting up an artist co-op on just some empty land. We tried to sort of build out this, this theme of the, the living building where we, we kept adding on to the, to the structure. We really wanted the building to be very expressive, both in terms of sound and also in, in light. And so we worked with a, a local electronics group to be able to really move light through the building in really fun and interesting ways. And so the, the lights you see here are the result of that collaboration. In order to make the pallet racks uh, habitable and functional, we needed to create stairs. So we fabricated this staircase, which is also modular and can be moved to different sections of the building in case we need to change uh, things around. Eve Sibley was one of our first artists in residence with a painting background but with an interest to work with plants and then develop the vertical gardens. She conceived of this, it's these panels with uh, plants growing hydroponically on it. We wanted a, a sound system that could, could move with us when we went to new locations. And so the solar sound system is a collection of sort of speakers, an amp, a mixer to move to a new location, set up solar panels in the middle of anywhere, and then get electricity going so that we can play music or have audio support for whatever kind of event we're doing. A great example of how the living building works as a social sculpture is how it brings people together around a project. So we invited Jackson. He's a designer with an architecture inclination. He worked with a group of art students to create the, the mud heart. It's the quiet center of the building. It's dark, it's, it's great for projections and screenings and quiet get-togethers. And it's all handmade using the wattle and dab technique. So it started with pallet racks as the, the skeleton of the living building. We did a couple of installations with the connect to give the, the building vision. And so it was this, this large installation that developed over time of really um, filling in sort of all of the components of a real living being that happened to be our, our large jaga.